What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic and Morris, your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is, man. Um, handling some business, got got some time uh, this morning to get a video in real quick. Uh, we'll speed it up. Probably a couple live shows going going down today. Um, but we're talking about this interview I seen with a uh, fight hype. Fred was there from Barbershop Conversation with Javante Tank Davis, uh, saying how much he knows how much time he got on his Mayweather Promotions contract left. Um, and he said a few other things as well, saying he had two years left. Um, he got to get three fights in those two years, and that's the remaining of his Mayweather uh, contract. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, at first, the other day, he said he didn't know uh, with the contract, how long the contract he had left. Apparently, he probably had somebody, Al, ha probably had somebody like Al Heyman looking to it, and uh, he's probably ready to make that move to get up out of there. He got two years left, minimum of three fights. Um, you know, he did acknowledge that Mayweather Promotions is doing what they're supposed to do with him and moving him the right way and giving him the opportunities. Uh, you know, he did acknowledge that. And he can't say that they wasn't uh, moving him and giving him the proper opportunities because if he did, that's a lie. You know, there's nobody that's been match made and given the, the plentiful and um, great opportunity that Javante Tank has um, in boxing right now, man. You know, especially... We talk about uh you know black fighters you know nobody's been you know given the the golden path to to titles and to to fame like Javante Tank Davis you know we can't say that he's only 23 just turned 23 so I understand why they're moving him so good man you know other fighters like you know other Mexican fighters and and and, and guys from the UK and whoever Puerto Rico and and whoever the fuck else you know they get to move uh you know they can move in silence you know without getting ridiculed and shit. And, and bum bash for as long as they want to. Um, and there's really no cry for them to move up in competition, you know, unless it's really, really exaggerated and strung out. And uh, Tank is a guy being forced to move up. You know, they act like they're shoving Tank down they, down people's throats. And, uh, you know, Showtime is definitely not, you know, shoving Tank down people's throats, you know. He's not. And uh, it ain't like they make him the main event. They're giving him, you know, time slots, like main events versus bums and bums and shit like that. They not. It's not like they... Trying to shove him down, throat, down your throat like they're doing Lomachenko, you know, like they did Golovkin. You know, all these years of him, Posa, you know, being a Billy Badass, but he's been uh, lying about negotiations and outpriced. Well, you know, you know he's been outpriced, not outpricing himself, but he's been, uh, you know, he's been cheap with his opponents. He don't want to pay his opponents, man. So then he wants to say, oh, they don't want to fight me for, for short change. Uh, they scared of me. They don't want to fight. Uh, they don't want him to fight Triple G Big Drama Show. So you look at that stuff, and also I'm going to link this uh, interview in the description, man. I said in the beginning, so you can see the full interview and see everything he said. And he also says that uh, Floyd Mayweather is the one that's keeping this beef up. He said he keep doing articles every day on Javante Tank Davis. And, um, you know, he said he keep, you know, his name in his mouth, man. He said, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's Floyd, it's Floyd, it's Floyd. Let's keep my name in these articles. Um, but, you know, he's the one that, that, that gave attraction. You know, saying that they don't want, they simply don't want me to win. You know, they ain't check up me on camp when they call me in camp. They they call to see if I made weight. They ain't ask me if I need anything. Um, you know, they simply don't want me to win. They set me up versus Jose Pedraza. Um, you know, you keep tweeting out. The other day, he tweeted out some more stuff as well. Uh, he tweeted out shit about fight hype and Ben, how he got his mouth all on Floyd Mayweather shit. Um, you know, he he's keeping this shit relevant, this beef relevant. Because when you put tweets out there, man, when you when you beef through Twitter. You want to be a Twitter beef, a social media warrior, you know, what's going to happen? When Floyd shows himself, himself in Canada, when he slow down from traveling, when he sit down and talk, you know, talk in interviews, the first thing they want to know is about his star pupil, Javante Tank Davis. And you gave this credence. You brought this into existence by, by saying this on social media, you know. And let me tell you something, too, man, before I get a little bit deeper in that. Tank ain't the same person he is on social media. You know, he, he act like he's a Billy Badass. He's real timid when you do an interview. When you talk about Floyd Mayweather or something like that or what's going on, oh, man, it, it really ain't no beef, man. Um, you know, you know, it's just something me and Floyd can sit down and talk about. Man, it, it really ain't no beef. You know, it's just, you know, you know, he's traveling, I'm traveling, and, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Like, like, dude, man, you one of them keyboard warriors, bro? You know, trying to play tough, you know, behind the key, behind, behind the computer screen, behind your, 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 your phone, your iPhone, your Android? You know, that's what he's looking like. Because he's getting these interviews, man. He's being bashful. He ain't sounding the same as beating on his chest. They asked him about Deontay Wilder before I get back to the Floyd shit. And say, oh, what about Wilder? You know, uh, I thought you had beef with Wilder. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I had to go with the home team, man. You know, it, it was just a misunderstanding. And, and, no, you just say you fought like a time girl, man. If you say some shit, you know, 
and you really want to be respected, you know, in life, if you say some shit, man, and let's basically say you said it behind somebody, behind somebody back, or you said, you know, said it on Twitter or, or, or social media, Instagram, whatever, Facebook. Hey, be a man and, and grab your nuts and say, yeah, I said that shit, man. And, 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 and have that same energy and that same aggressive nature you had when you when you type that shit, you know, on social media, man. Don't, don't go out here and when you get put on the spot, you know, start stuttering and, and, and trying to be all bashful and shit, man. And trying to be a different character. See, you know, it ain't just like some of these trolls out here on social media that's behind, you know, behind, you know, behind the, uh, behind the picture, or behind the computer screen. It's these fighters too, man. So I'm real tough in person. When you pull up on them, you know, it's a totally different ball game. Totally different ball game. So, you know, don't, don't try to be out here and have a split personality. You tough behind the computer screen, but when we put you on the spot, you know, you know, oh, no, man, it ain't, you know, no. Then stop tweeting the bullshit out, man. Stop keeping this shit going because he started this shit with Floyd. He kept it circulating, man. You know, you you gave it credence. You brought it to existence, man. And all of a sudden, all oh, Mayweather Promotions doing their job and moving you like they posed the movie. No, you were just talking shit. Ever since you talked shit about the Breakfast Club, when you talking about, oh, I might do a business with Oscar De La Hoya. You know, he was just talking shit about that as well, too, man. Just talking stuff about that, man, not too long ago, like last year when he did the Breakfast Club interview. But, uh, yeah, you know, so it ain't really no problem with me and Floyd, man. This is something we got to sit down and talk about, man, and hash out. Maybe with the promotions, they doing their job, man. They moved me the right way. You think? You one of the uh, most calculated and safest move fighters out there. Even though you got a lot of talent, I think your, 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 your age kind of equate into the, into the equation. But, you know, but once you start out here talking tough, and you start sounding timid one day, you start, you're trying to be kind of bipolar. You know, oh, one day, you know, they don't want me to win. Another day, I be I knock out the Tevin Farmer. I beat Lamont Machenko. Or the next day, oh, Floyd uh, set me up versus Jose Pedraza. Uh, um, you know this and that. I mean, you know, why would Floyd want to set you up, man? When he got he had, at that point, he had like three or four years investing into you, man. In the future, he bought you houses and cars and shit. You know, you know that's that's the story of life, man. Let me tell you that, man. You know, get ready to uh, get the end of this video. That's the story of life, man. No matter how much good you do for an individual, you know. No matter how good your name is, how good your reputation is, the minute that you do something that people don't like, the minute you make a mistake, that mistake is polarized. That mishap is polarized. You know, all that good shit you ever did, one word, one night, one incident, one drama scene can definitely mess up your whole reputation, man. It can mess up your entire reputation, man. All the good you did. No matter if you took, you know, you went to fucking India or you went to Africa and fed the whole country with a loaf of bread and one fish. You do something that, that people don't like, you make one mistake, it's a wash. And, you know, for Tank, if Floyd made a mistake and set you up, okay, it is what it is, but you won the title, man. He put you in position to 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 be a winner. Why would he want you to set you up so so early in your in your career? So early in your contract. You know, people, man, come on, man. Some of that Adrian Broner shit rolling off on him, whatever. Whatever they take it, man, whatever that's rubbing off over there, man, it's a travesty, man. It really is, man. Tank is a bipolar dude. You know, and I got much love for Tank, much support for him. But when you're wrong, you're wrong, no matter what color it is, where you come from, you know, what, how much power you got, how much speed you got, you're wrong, you're wrong. But be on the lookout for that review uh, for Gary Russell, Jojo Diaz. Probably going to do a panel roundtable about the fights last night and wrap up the final thoughts on them, uh, the final reaction to the fights last night. Um, but y'all know what it is. It's TBC and more. Check the links in the description, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Twitter, all those in the description if you want to follow us there.